All right, and here we go. Uh, another uh, a PSD tour. This one is uh, a Clea piece from Josh Howard, and uh, it's very long. It's been a very long time, and I've been doing this. I felt like you know, like unmotivated to do uh, another PSD tour, but you know, uh, I'm gonna do it again. Just for me, just uh, recording some of my process, and also maybe a little bit of helping tool to was uh, people want to color. Uh, images and stuff so this is the final artwork right here and also I'm gonna go back to the everything reset to back here and also explain how I did it in the first place so for me let's go back to the start and this is the uh, line art and you know my setup is that I tend to do uh, get a copy of this one and then extract this to get this one and then put it all in white and it will result into something uh, everything black but also all the all the line uh, all, of, all of the line art is in in the channels rather than this thing existing because for for reasons you you don't want to you start as you know starting doing flat so that uh, it doesn't influence the uh, color so for me Yes, back here. This is the uh, flattened color. If I go back here, I go. Oh, this is the result. So, doing the flats and stuff, doing the local here and there, and also since we are doing a lot, uh, this piece right here of Josh Howard's Aclea, the, the wearing in uh, Doctor Strange stuff, I have to, you know out of the uh, the energy from right here from her hands so I started making you know uh, a low opacity right here a low opacity flat, uh, flat here so that I, this is basically a hold so that you can uh, do the uh, you can see the transparency of the, the see-through right here and also uh, planning my thought ago how do I change this into something else so that's my thought process right here so after that started to put some backgrounds just to lay out some ideas and colors and then doing the uh, render this right here is, is different from the previous thing that I did because this was you know this was the time that I didn't use any color dodge just to you know practice myself not to use color dodge because a lot of the things that my crutch is using a lot of color dodge and brush and layer effects that kind of hindered my coloring so try to practice myself not to use that much and then afterwards after I laid it out I started to do extract the whole line out remove this you know uh, doing uh, go, right, go right over here Press Control, hold, control I, and put it in a brand new layer. So there. It's a brand new layer. Let it, uh, let it locked. And also start to do doing this as well. Uh, doing sep uh, separating the uh, the foreground, the main character, uh Clea into into the front and also the energy to the back so you get this although it's very ugly here but truth be told I actually you know use this instead uh, the, white, uh, the yellow ones and set it to capacity 75 and put energy right over here so it does look like have a, a glow and you put it in the real in the uh, it looks already completed it, it, for me, it's a very short one because, uh, again, it, this was a very short practice that I did, and and uh, I I tend to try to find ways of how can I make it pop, and I go to forget. Oh yeah, the eyes over here. So I have to you know put some detailed glows on that one. And uh, another aspect that I was that I tend to add is add more Kirby crackle. So I have a brush. That mimics the Kirby crackle of Jack Kirby and put it right there just enough not too much not too little just enough that it had that you know you know that old school style 
that you know Josh <laughs> Joshua How Josh Howard made this piece so I did that and yeah this one is actually the instead of part because I I think I use this as just a color uh, like you know a color uh, line grabber just to get all of the color uh, the selection so yeah this one is a practically useless and and this is the legit final image that I got so yeah uh, it's I'm sorry if this is quite short but this is the process that I got this image up front so for me uh, it was a fun little project just keep it minimal not too much you know super rendering and not using uh, color dodge and stuff so that to keep it uh, uh, so it's not super over rendered. certain drawings should not be you know uh, you know super rend uh, super over rendered but <laughs> I think I uh, look at this I think I overdid it again but but now it just keeps on uh, a little bit of minimal so yeah um, I hope you enjoy my short uh, PSD tour of this piece and I'll see you after the Holy Week and I'll plan to make more. So take care.